So this is available. $250 shipped. This is the Vato Extreme quad stack um, with a punch HE2 dust cap on the 5 series 10 inch cone. So pretty beefy. This one's dual 2. You can see the little 2 in there. Dual 2. New terminals. We got the some new terminals in. I'll have all that stuff up in the store eventually. Um, I'm waiting on gaskets from Lord of Base for these. This this series uses a little bit wider uh, gasket, 12 inch. This one is using the uh, 3HP Slim. It's basically my version of the JL Audio 12W7. Bigger terminals, you know, more awesome. Three year warranty, all that kind of stuff. So what else? Oh, I, I also had news. So the Gonzo cones, which are these guys, uh, when necked out to four inch, they actually fit on the four spoke frame. So that's good news for you guys. Um, retail is $65 each shipped, which is the same as Lord of Base. And then wholesale is $40 each shipped, but you gotta do the buy-in. And the buy-in we're doing at 2100, get it blackjack. So blackjack audio. Uh, this one's ready to go. Got to put the JL sticker on it and it'll ship out. Uh, what else? Oh, this is Casey's. Casey's 10. That one's done. It's got to ship out. Uh, what else? Let me see. Oh, I'm working on uh, Josh Perm's uh, HCCA Neo. And uh, this big monster, this is the T2 steel that I extended. Uh, and then we, I think we brought in, yeah, we toned down the uh, pole a little bit to take regular coils, which I'm going to use the LMS 4-inch coil, which I only have one left, so it's getting it. And, um, and then the original top plate, which is what LMS works well with, which is a thin top plate. So it, well, the, the, the later design that I want to do is actually, it's a thicker top plate, but then near the gap, it gets thinner. So there's gonna be a little step. So I don't know, I, I have like voodoo on having more steel there for thermal capacity or even just like magnetic suction, for lack of a better word, to absorb and conduct the magnetic charge. Um, plus the thicker top plate looks cool. So, but it, it'll be tapered and look like the, um, probably like the uh, 600 ounce or, yeah, it'll look like the 600 ounce from Lord of Base. So I got this one done. Uh, I found three random 220 millimeter OD with a five and a, four and a quarter ID. I'll probably put it on this. This is an old Lord of Base 400 ounce, uh, four inch. When I found the top plate, it was all like busted. So it's been on the thing all night. Let me make sure it's off, yeah. So that'll cool. Let's see what else. Oh, the... Uh, LMS R basically is done. I did want to make a note for you guys. This is the original hardware, which is actually quite long. This looks like a one inch socket. Uh, it's a number 10 by 32. And you can see the threads got beat up pretty well going into that top plate. This is only the first, second, second time out uh, of there. And it's, it's all beat up like that. So I just replaced it with some three eighths um, Phillips head. So you can just throw these away. Uh, it doesn't need to be that long, especially with the motor that big. So, and this will definitely be some weird Eclipse hybrid. I think it ends up looking kind of weird and, and unique. Uh, technically, the the top is removable, but I'll ship it whole, just so the guy doesn't have any problems with it. So, but he um, he provided two 10-inch woofers with, um, I think one was to provide the motor and the other one was to provide the coil. It's an LMS coil. The um, the three inch LMS coil was used on the LMS R, which was the later version that he sold through Audio Pulse. And then the earlier version was a quad stack with a thin top plate called the LMS 4000. I'll put a link to it in there. I think, oh yeah, I've been using the link that says LMS goodness. And then it's, oh, I think I got a client here. So I'll wrap this up real quick. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a link on there of the old uh, archive to show you guys some of that stuff. I think, what else? Mm, that's it. I don't know. I'll, t I'll talk more. Shop update. Love you. Bye.